Amen. That's a great answer. And so this leads me over here to what we just went through all these traits and defining these traits. That is the ideal image of a leader. It's one who is calm, who is controlled, and who is reassured. So what is a leader? They are calm. Say it with me. Calm. Calm. Control. Control. Calm. Calm. Control. Calm. And reassured. And then they also are determined to achieve and to meet their goals. So anything you set your goals on, anything you set your vision on, they're going to make it happen at any cost. Nothing is going to stop them, right? Nothing's going to help them trip or make them tremble. So I got a, qu I got a couple questions for you guys. Y'all young men need to be listening to me. Where do a line come from? This is important stuff for y'all. Y'all need to be listening Yes, sir. Again, so now imagine this. God, like Brother Alex just said, he created the eagle and he created the lion. Right. An eagle flies high up in the sky. Right. Y'all say soar, soar, soar. Soar, soar, soar. soar. One more time. Soar, soar, soar. Soar, soar, soar. So God not only created the eagle that flies so high up in the sky, but he also created this lion that y'all said is scary. He got good traits of courage, strength, confidence. He's a leader. Right. And so my next question is, where do a, a lion live at? Where does a lion live at? The wilderness. It's the wilderness. So the lion lives in the wilderness. So again, the eagle flies where? Hi, hi, so so. Correct. And a lion lives on the ground in the wilderness. Right. A lion big and scary. Right. Now, why do you guys think that the lion is big and scary and he is so dominant? Because God said that he knew he knew us as, 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 as